Hey, this is Dave at HouseParents.com. Today, we're going to look at alternative ways to heat your house and save a bunch of money in the process. Specifically, we're looking at heating your basement for free. That's kind of what we've got set up here, and we're going to show you how we did it. That noise you hear in the background is my ASIC computer. ASIC is A-S-I-C, and that stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuit. Let's go check it out. So what does this noisy little computer do? Well, it's 76 decibels plus or minus. This computer mines for Bitcoin. That's really not the subject of this video. What we're talking about today is the, the heat that you get from the computer and what to do with that excess heat. See, if you've seen any of the videos on our channel, you know our goal is always to try to reduce costs, save money, uh, grow wealth by doing it yourself. So this is a little furnace. Check this out. You can see the temperature of the air blowing out of the computer by those fans. Two fans pull the air in, two fans exhaust the air. And the air coming out of this ASIC is somewhere to, from 108 to 111 degrees. The purpose of the video is, is to look at the excess heat that this computer gives off and put that to good use. This here is my Mr. Cool Universal Heat Pump. We put this in about three winters ago. The Mr. Cool is nicely efficient in the summer. This particular one has a 18 sear rating in the summertime, which is pretty efficient. But in the wintertime, it gets somewhere around a comparable sear rating of around 10 and a half. So that's nothing to write home about, just very average. Uh, electric heat in the winter is probably not the perfect ideal. So our goal is to try to reduce some of the cost of heating in the wintertime. So back to the ASIC computer for a second. It's pretty noisy as you can obviously hear. It has four fans on it. Each of those fans turn around 4,500 RPMs and that creates all the noise. But it needs those fans to cool the computer. The computer runs on 240 volts the reason it needs so much power is because it's doing about 96 trillion calculations a second. Basically what it's doing is mathematical guesses trying to solve for the next block in the Bitcoin blockchain. And when it does so, the miners get a reward for that. It's an energy intensive process. I've been running this computer now for a little over a week in the basement and the basement temperature before I began was about 63 degrees. While I've had this computer on running 24 seven, it raised the temperature in my thousand square foot basement about nine degrees. Now our basement is the most comfy and warmest room in the house. And that's quite a nice payoff. We're in the Midwest. Our residential utility rates are about 12 cents per kilowatt hour. And the price of Bitcoin right now is around 23,000. And so when you calculate all that out, the cost to mine the Bitcoin is offset by the income it brings in. So it's a wash. The result is I've got all this heat and it's virtually free, not including the cost of the machine. But if you're gonna buy a, a garage heater or a space heater, you still have outlay of cost. I was gonna mine Bitcoin anyway. That heat and needs to get put to good use. Think about it this way. When you pay for natural gas or electric or heating oil uh, or propane to heat your house in the winter, what you're basically doing is lighting money on fire so you can stay warm. You gotta pay that utility bill. But what if there was a more cost-effective way to heat your house than those other four? Well, I think this ASIC computer might just do that very thing for us. That's what this video and the subsequent videos are gonna be about testing that see if there's a better way to heat in winter but the next step is to see if we can hook this miner up into our whole hvac system but that's for another video if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe because uh, when you ring that bell youtube will let you know when we post that next video and so you'll be able to keep up the progress this setup has such potential to generate cost-free heat and reduce my normal heating bills so our future videos, we're gonna go ahead and look into how we got to this point and how we can hook it up to the house. If you got anything out of this video, give it a thumbs up. We appreciate that. It really helps other people see our videos, helps the video along. Thanks a lot for doing that. Hope this video helps. We'll see you in the next video.